Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm one of the developers of Griffith Academy, a heartwarming coming-of-age RPG. Follow the journey of three friends, Erica, Viva, and Cap, as they fall into the book world of Caldria. Erica is on a quest at the moment to try and clear the forest of some pesky Paradosa. Let's take a look at how combat works. When a character's initiative bar is full, it's their turn. In a combat, you will encounter different types of enemy. The center Paradosa is a defender. It has lots of defense and is currently taunting. The small red-brown Paradosa is a striker. It has high damage, but only average defense. The dark Paradosa is a lurker. It has above average defense and damage, and currently has damage up status. When Erica uses a basic attack on the defender, that ticks down its taunt effect. Now it's Viva's turn to do the same, and her ability comes with a slight heal boost. The taunt is knocked down, so I can switch target. And Cap can knock down one of the striker's evades. The striker responds with Web Storm, which slows and damages all of our team. The defender is protected, the lurker is hidden, so I'll go for the striker. And that will bring its defense down. Let's have a look. Yep, the striker's defense is now 50%. Beaver can hit the striker. Ooh, that's pretty effective. The defender taunted again though, so I can no longer select the striker. I'm going to throw Confused on the defender. I can finish the striker really quickly, and with that out of the way, I'm not going to get web stormed again. Viva's mass evade is up, and that's a lifesaver. Now we all have two counts of evade, which drops either when we're attacked or at the beginning of our turn. Let's focus on getting this guy out of the picture. Now we just knock down the defender. is down and we finish him off. We took a bit of a beating but we made it. Thank you for watching. There will be more to come so do follow and wishlist us on Steam.